In Libris Concrete, we have the option to calculate seismic design using the response spectral analysis method. As I have already set up a bridge, we can go to the substructure module and establish the calculation on loads for seismic design. So we find the proper loading, earthquake effect. And let's edit the calculations in which we're going to use the response spectral analysis. Uh, we have different codes, one of them being the Ashto code, in which you enter the proper parameters of your seismic zone. Uh, but if it's something very specific, what you can do is activate the custom one and fill up the numbers that make up your design response spectrum. Another option is to load it from an ASCII file in which you can create your own custom response spectra zone. And it's just a matter of loading it and you have your new one being activated and ready for design purposes. That file, um, as we can uh, review now, it's an ASCII file. As we open it with Notepad, this is the requirements. At two columns, one stating the period in seconds, the other one the coefficients. And the 25 lists the number of lines or periods that we are considering. So we have 25 lines here, and they should be always 25. And the first and third and fourth are just the text. So you keep this format, it's just a matter of saving that. And so when you load your custom zone, as many as you may have for the different uh, seismic zones, you will just load it and it will be considered that for design purposes. And this is how you load your custom response spectrum for the calculation of seismic design in Libris Concrete.